We were up on this mountain on January 15, 1979, and everything changed. Forty-one of us went on a study abroad to six countries. And what started out as a very exciting day on the ski slopes just turned into a tragedy when an avalanche took the lives of three of our Stetson colleagues and friends. But we were just stunned. We didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to think. There were very few of us that had dealt with any kind of death whatsoever in our 20 or 21 years. It was devastating. And it's definitely a story that's fallen by the wayside. It's really been years uh, for me to process it. And even today when I'm here, I can hardly believe that all that occurred. This memory was almost forgotten, not because it was intentional. It was almost lost to time. I didn't realize that it had been completely forgotten. It was amazing that nobody knew about it, but I wasn't amazed that nobody talked about it because I didn't talk about it. We started asking ourselves, how can we forget this? If you lose your history, you lose connection with your history, then you can lose your culture, and then you're, you're rudderless. What we're trying to do is document things that have happened so that we are defining the soul of the past and the soul of the present. This project is a commitment. It's the university saying, yes, we will in fact preserve our history and we will learn from that history and we will grow from it.